Most efficient tails is like a perfect, just a chopped off tail, like a square, dead square, flat chop. Yeah. Because the water just releases. Pop. Clean off. Clean, it just bang, it's instantaneous. Border, it's on the surface area of the board and then it's released, it's gone. Yeah. There's nothing impeding it, no angle for it to redirect. It's just pure release. So the fastest possible tail you can get is a pure chop tail. Just cut, it's clean cut, 180 degree chop. And then similarly, you just kind of follow that like a diamond tail is just a very – it's like the less you fuck with the water's flow, the lower drag it's going to be. Yeah. So the more curve you have is – is the more the water has to follow that curve before it f- f- releases or, it f- you know, so like a curvy tail or a round tail is actually kind of like if you're going in a straight, going straight planing, a round tail, the water follows both rail lines and then kind of comes to the tail and it kind of hits the, the two flows kind of collide yeah. and creates a bit of a, a suction point, a bit of a like turbulent area behind the tail and then like the sci-fi tail is an interesting one because you're inverting your curve angles off the tail you know instead of having a a rounded surface that the water follows it kind of inverts the curve so it it tends to like give it a a release point yep so when you get create those little release points the the water flows kind of like let go a bit it doesn't it doesn't grip like it it doesn't hold on at the tail it just kind of lets it lets it free it's got little release points you Mm. know so and when you see that in like little computer simulations you go i can i can see it you know you can see the little waters creating these little high pressure low pressure flow areas and you're like oh yeah that's cool you know yeah 